Let's talk about education matters. Nine learning in public universities remained paralyzed on Monday as the lecturer strike entered its fourth week across the country. The dons have vowed to extend the industrial action despite assurances by both Treasury and Education Cabinet Secretary that the required funds needed for their salaries increment and recruitment of additional academic staff have already been committed. Setulale has more. Students from the University of Nairobi who have endured a month now without learning owing to the lecturer strike joined demonstrations organized by their tutors. We have the right yes. to access education. Yes. Yes. Now we are giving them yes. 24 minutes. <laughs> the procession kicked off at the UON graduation square Monday morning and headed straight to Nairobi CBD before making a stopover at parliament buildings. The return to work formula is very clear. It is 10%, 7%, and 4%, totaling to 9.7 billion. None of the items have been implemented, and we are very disappointed a lot. So we are asking the government to honor the return to work formula. The lecturers strike being demonstrated on the streets have a severe effect for thousands of learners who remain stranded at various public universities across the country. The protesting dons, who also visited Treasury Building, demanded CS John Mbadi to settle their arrears without further delay. We sent a letter to the Ministry of Education allowing or extending 4.3 billion to help in implementing the CBA for lecturers. We think it's a reasonable figure that we're urging the unions to accept, move back to class, then we can start renegotiating the new CBA. The demonstrators eventually ended their procession at the Ministry of Education's Jogo House. Here, the striking lecturers gave Education CS Julius Migos a 24-hour ultimatum to fully implement the return to work formula as contained in the 2021-2025 Collective Bargaining Agreement. Even as the industrial action by lecturers continues in public universities, students who have opted to stay in the learning institutions remain without a way forward with the academic calendar disrupted. Seth Olale, Citizen TV.